Hey Rob here from Tasty Jam. Uh, we're going to do a string changing video today and uh, at the same time I'm going to do a uh, neck cleaning in between. That doesn't need to be done every time you change. Um, so what I'll probably do is bust that off into another video. Basically we got one of these little two dollar units right here. We're just going to take our strings off first thing. Okay, got all those. Now, uh, the other thing is I am doing this on my guitar stand, as you can see. Uh, I don't have a fancy little workstation with a little neck support for my guitar and a special place, so that's another reason I wanted to make this, is to uh, show that, you know, you can do it right in your stand. Doesn't have to be, you don't need fancy equipment to be able to do this. Speaking of fancy equipment, if you own one of these, that you know they come and you can get them that already have the clippers on them. Uh, I believe this is literally like a dollar fifty or two dollar unit. But all of these things, and uh, I had to find out actually long after I owned one of these things that they have this fancy little notch right here, and that's for removing your uh, your pegs. So we're just gonna pull these pegs out. All right, strings are out. Nice little knot so they don't fly away from you. All right. So at this point we're ready to clean it or just put the strings on it. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna do that. All right, so uh, we're ready to put new strings on the guitar. We've got it all cleaned up, ready to go. Uh, that's on the other video. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. This is, uh, I'm just using some Martins here. They're uh, cheap and easy, easy to find. I actually use elixirs on my uh, on my stage guitar. Um, I use these Martins on the practice guitar because as I stated before I it stays out on the on the uh, stand all the time so it's constantly getting dusty and dirty and I don't like to put $16 strings on a guitar I know is gonna get dirty. So I've seen people do this many different ways where they'll go ahead and put all the strings in and and then put them up one at a time. I didn't used to do that. I, I'm beginning to do that now after a couple times of putting the wrong string into the wrong hole and getting your count off and then you've ruined one. So uh, that's, I do like, I do like doing that at this point. And you know, when, when you're using these pegs, there's, um, uh, there's a problem that happens, and this is part of the reason I'm making this video. If you can see in this peg, there's a little groove in there, and that and your your string will rest right in that groove. What will happen sometimes is when it gets into the hole, you, you people will stick it into the hole, and then as they tighten the guitar, the the little nut on the end sticks at the end of that thing. And what happens is, as you start to turn your pegs and tighten up, it just pulls it out, pulls it out of the hole. So what we do is uh, we just give this thing a little bend. Just putting a little bend in it like that so it's not straight anymore. So this time when it comes up, it can't get stuck. All right, so we're just going to take it just like that. 
Um, this is our G. So we're going to go right into here. Once it's in there, I'm going to give it a little tug, make sure we're not catching on that thing. And then I push it in. Okay, so I can tell now, because as I pull on it, it is not pulling that peg out. That's a pretty easy way to tell. Okay, so as we uh, move along here, I, I like to, what I like about using my stand here is I can use my leg to, to lay my strings on. When, when, a, when a string lays over like that and gets a little bend in it, it can't turn. It has, it makes it, it forces it to stay at whatever angle you've got it in there. So in this case, when I stick it, when I stick this in, I want my bend to go upwards. That's going to go away from my groove. My groove is going to go upwards. In there. And if you get in there very close, you can see the wind coming from that nut is starting to stick through. That's a good sign. That means that you're you're not stuck at the end of it. You're you're right up there where it should be. Is pushed in there good. All right, we've got six strings in there. And as I said, uh, doing these strings, putting them all into the uh, bridge at one time will save you from messing up, which I just did a minute ago. And I put the put the wrong string in there uh, onto the wrong hole. Had I gone up, wound it up, tightened it, and cut it, that'd have been the end of that one. So. Um, this is a great way to do it. That way you know you've got them all in, in the right places before you start uh, winding and cutting. Alright, so the next thing, we're just going to get them into the pegs. Now I've seen uh, yeah, different, different ways that guys do this, but uh, basically what I like to do is come around the peg and through the hole. And on, on these holes, I'll a lot of times turn my peg so the, the holes are running this way. It just makes it a little easier um, to do this part. And, you know, I've seen different ways of measuring how much you should pull through here. Um, matter of fact, the guy at Taylor Guitar, he uses a, this method where he he pulls it over to the next peg. He pulls it over here. That's how he uses it. Um, I've seen different ways. As the strings get thinner, you know, we're on a thick one here, but as they get thinner, you're going to get more winds if you use the same exact measuring method every time. Um, what I'd like to do is generally make sure I can get, you know, somewhere on the neck here, get my hand in there sideways. That's, that's how I like to do it. And then from there, I'll just I'll cinch it up. Once I've done that, I'm going to give it a pull. What that does is it bends it right up here at the top. It's going to bend it where it goes in, and that locks it. It's not going anywhere. Uh, and then I bend it up on my excess. This is all going to get cut off here. So at this point, the string is locked. I've seen people you know, do a little fancy tie and we go underneath and make a little knot. It's not unnecessary in my opinion. And I've seen, you know, again, the manufacturers do it both ways. Uh, uh, matter of fact, Martin Guitar Company, they do it this exact method that I do. As a matter of fact, they don't even do this bend up. They just, they, they just leave it in there. They use the first bend to, uh, uh, to lock it. 
So it does work, but it ain't coming out of there. So what we're going to do here is, as you can see, I, I like to wrap my thumb around here and I'm just creating a little bit of tension. And I'm going to put it, you know, make sure you get it into the nut there so it lines up correctly. And we're just going to come on here and, and start to tightening her down. We always want to make sure your winds are going downwards underneath. It should do it pretty naturally, but keep an eye on it because you might have to force it. Okay, and now I can't keep my hand in there anymore. I'm pulling it out. There we go, we're on. Don't try to tune it. There's no point in doing that right now. As you can see, we've got oh, three wines on there. You want at least two to three. You don't want more really than three. But uh, the way these pegs are um, shaped, you know, they're shaped concave. So as you tighten up, it, it, it causes the strings to, to pinch together. And, and that's what really holds it in there. That's why the knots are unnecessary uh, to tie a knot in, in anything. So I don't know if you're uh, one of those guys that likes to leave your hairs up there, I guess you can just leave that, but uh, I like to clip them off, make them look nice. Okay, same thing, I'm going to get my hand in here, create some space, and just tighten her down. And as I tighten up here, I'm pulling here. That's going to create that bend in that first hole as it comes out, and then I'm bending it upward. Always keeping the pressure on. That's what's going to make those winds go nice and straight on there. And of course from here on out we're going to start going backwards. All turned right. So uh, you notice I'm I, I wound out in a way, even though all these were like this. Now I'm coming up and I'm winding the opposite direction now. Okay, good example right here. I just um, I locked it down, and I but I didn't pull enough through. So I'm just gonna kind of take that pressure off and get a little bit more pulled through here. Get it. There we go. 
as you can see there's a there's some kinks in here and you never want that on this side of the peg so if you if you really mess it up you've ruined the string you don't want to just tighten it up and try to play it if this is below the um, below the tuner peg there so this is just about right um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a bend in it right there so it won't come through any further and then of course I need to um, I need to actually spin my tuning peg all the way around before I start tightening. Because I want it to come up on the inside. There we go. Alright, that's it. Got new strings, we've got a clean neck. Um, uh, you know, at this point you can go ahead and start uh, tuning. Go ahead and stretch them out. You know, at this point I like to just get in here and just give them a little tug. Not too much, but just to the point where you can tell it's, it's stretching it. So then I would tune it up again, and then once that you know once it's tuned and, and maybe play it uh, play it a little bit, and uh, maybe hit it one more time with the stretch. Go back and give it another stretch, tune it again. You should be good. Um, I, I've actually changed guitars strings on the day that we we did a gig, and um, as long as you do that, yeah, you'll get through. You might have to be sure you're tuning up uh, on your breaks in between, but. Um, other than that, that's, that's the way I do it. Works pretty easy. Um, again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free. Um, you know, I'm not claiming to be any kind of expert on this. This is just the way I do it. And uh, if, um, you know, but I'm always a student. I always like learning about new things. If you have any ideas or additions to what's going on here, let me know. I'm into it. Thanks a lot, you guys.